everyone, Michael here, and welcome back to another video. Oh my gosh, I almost spoke. What the heck? Anyways, I am back with another update on my LEGO City. A lot has been happening, and I'm excited to share it with you. So without further ado, I'm going to stop talking and doing the intro, so let's get straight into it. So, as you see, not much has really changed in this area. Most of the change that went, that went in here was that area over there. But we're going to move on to that in just a little bit. As you can see, I've added a tree. Just a tree, just to kind of match up with this tree. You know, just kind of make it look nicer. And right here is the template for my playground. Now, I've done extensive testing. I'm trying to get a swing currently in the studio I've been building. And it's just not working out for me. So, <laughs> I might just scrap the entire idea until I actually figure out how to do it. But yes, yeah, someday I will put in the actual playground. But for now, it's just gonna have to stay like this. I have extended the sidewalks a bit. I've also added um, three more cars. So there's one. There's one with uh, Benny right over there, classic spaceman. Actually, no, that's not Benny. That's just a classic spaceman. Kind of hard to find these days, but I'm glad I had one. Uh, there's the car that we built in our live stream, uh, last live stream. The Porsche, uh, coming by another Porsche. Now, I have yet to buy more road plates. So, for now, I've just kind of put a little barricade and a traffic cone there. Just to indicate that you cannot go there because there's no road. But the main thing is that I have built some stores now. I am, I was planning to make a huge row of stores. I've started with that. So there's the store I showed in the last update. There's a, that store and that store that is currently for sale. So let's get into more detail of that. So right there we got a lady. Once again, adding to the scene of that, the police guy chasing the guy that stole the pizza. Uh, lamppost. And we come to the first store that I have built. Now, I like the whole glass window vibe that I've gone for with there. I've also gone for a little sign right there. Very, very nice sign. Glad I came up with it. So, this is just an auto parts store. So, as you can see, a lot of things revolve around traffic and cars. So, I decided to, you know, add a auto parts store now. Of course, there is an interior, but before we go into that, I'm going to show you the next store, which used to be a special transport agency, uh, like you would um, order something to be special transported to you, but they've shut it down for some reason. The, um, they shut it down for bad ac mold and overall inspection of the whole place it was shut down closed and set for sale and um i actually should change that sign to saying uh sold because um as you'll see later as we come around the back that it is already currently being restored so i should probably change that but within more updates, you'll see it getting slowly restored. So I thought that would be something fun to do. But now let's go into the interior details. So on top, I just got a little light there. Um, AC unit, this thing. I think it's supposed to be like a little radar dish thing. But of course, the roof can come off. So there's one little... A piece right there. Let's see if I can get this off without any trouble. There we go. That's one piece of the roof. Piece number two. Now, this 
can sometimes result to um, breaking this piece. So I've got to be extra. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Things have actually finally got my time with that roof piece. Okay, time for the next roof piece, the one with the cool little 3D sign saying that it's an auto parts store. I can just... Oh, oh, something fell off, but I'm sure I can fix that. Oh, yeah, 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 nothing, nothing that bad. Now, let's see what's actually inside of there. Alright, so inside of there we got your little checkout guy right there. And as you've guessed, a bunch of auto parts. So we got an exhaust pipe, steering wheel, pipe, that, a little, another exhaust thing, a customer, a engine, another engine, a steering wheel, and um, I'm guessing that'll be like spark plugs or something. I don't know. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the auto parts shop. Up to the um, currently being restored and also being sold uh, store that is currently out of business. Sadly, it's been de-established. Um, is that the right word? I don't really know. Uh, let's take off the roof. This doesn't tend to separate because it's very poorly made together. But anyways, add that to the pile of... Um, roof pieces as you can see there's just a bunch of broken down stuff and yeah just overall abandonedness but yeah i think it's time to put all the roof pieces back so that's one and come for the second that's two time for the third and that's third piece and finally the final piece goes over here I can just get it attached that is there we go that is nice but there's also some details I've added back here there's an alleyway separating between the miscellaneous stuff store to the auto parts store so right there we got a little generator power generator just the overall trash and stuff. There used to be a generator here. As you can see, there's the hole that would connect the generator to the building. But it's been ripped out with force. You know what I mean? Here we got some boxes probably used for the restoration of um, the, the, that store over there. Yeah, so the, there's that guy. He's the building agent. And... He is trying to pick up that box and carry it all the way over here so he can start restoring stuff. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So yeah, that pretty much covers all that there needs to be updated. So that was it for today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. Please, please subscribe. We're only three subscribers away from 20 subscribers. Can we get there, guys? Please. Please, we're just three subscribers away. I want to hit that milestone. Um, also, don't forget to hit the like, because I don't really get a lot of likes on my videos. And also hit the bell to get notified of every single city update there is to come out. But that's all for me, guys, and I'll see you all next time.